Alrighty, rock on, motherfuckers! What's up, everybody? Peter Gilmore here for a late night video, video number two on the uh, on your two for Thursday. But this time it's on Metal God Six Six Nine. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit that subscribe button down below on this channel and all my other channels, which are down in the description box below. And as always, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, if you dare. But you have to be real, a real person, because you're, you're fake. I don't want you on my freaking social media platforms, channels and platform, or whatever. So, you have to be real, and to sub to this channel, and sub to my, and uh, follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, be real, and I'll maybe follow you back, or I'll let you follow me, but it is what it is. But anyway... So follow me on social media, share the video all over the internet, and don't forget to tap and slap that bell. Treat it like it's your guitar, your bass guitar, your electric guitar, or your or your set of drums, or whatever you play. And uh, turn on all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn thing. And if you do, well, fuck you, man. That's all I gotta say about that. But hit the bell. And turn on all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn thing. And hopefully YouTube will send my videos out to you. If you're not, then unsubscribe and resubscribe again. Hit the bell again. Turn on all notifications again. And hopefully that will work. Um, but then again, you can hit the bell five. You can unsubscribe and resubscribe five times. Five, ten times. And you're still not getting my notifications because the notification bell is broken. Broken! And people getting my videos from like, you know, from like five months ago, they're finally getting them. I'm like, come on now. Fix your shit, Susan! You cunt. But I digress. But in any event, hopefully you like the video. This is your first time watching, and you like what you hear, especially if you're a metalhead, or you, you love rock and roll, or you just like music. Come on, come on and sub subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, smash that like button to death. Smash that subscribe button to death. And also show my other channels your love and support if you're a fan of wrestling or anything else. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you like rants and basically people getting destroyed. Because I'm the most, I'm the number one ranter on this fucking website. And that is a goddamn fact. But if you like my content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button button below. Tell your friends about the channel. Say, hey, this Peter Gilmore guy is pretty damn good. So, share the video all over the internet with them, and then they can do that same thing. And, uh, yeah, so, and then tap the bell and all that other good shit. And then if you want to, follow me on social media, because I do live tweet when I do Raw, NXT, Dynamite, SmackDown, Rampage, and any pay-per-views. Or all paper, well, some in all pay per views, but depending if I'm out or not. But in any event, I hope you like the content. And if it's your first time watching and you just subscribed to me, welcome to the party, pal! And I hope and you enjoy my content and enjoy the ride. It's all about positivity from here on out. No more of this bullshit with these immature trolls. And. I'm getting the help I need from all the shit that happened the last almost five days now. I was getting close to a week. So, tomorrow is day number three of my journey to better, men a better, better mental state. And um, it's going to be tough, you know, but I'm hoping in about four to eight months, probably by the summer of 2023, I'm hoping and praying to the Lord, uh, the Lord above, that Jesus Christ that I will be in a better mental state, and hopefully some, if not all, of these people that I threw under the bus can see that I, I am making some progress, and they don't have to be they have to be my friends again. They can just say, oh, you know, I for we forgive you and everything, but we're not going to be friends, and I'm like, that's fine. You know, you can come back and watch my content, leave a comment, but as far as us being friends, I think we should wait till till another few months, maybe 2024, or 
never. We just won't be friends, but, you know, we can watch each other's content. And that's pretty much it. But we'll see what happens with, with that when we get there. So, the journey has begun. And we'll see by, I would say, by the end of February. Or early, beginning of March, we'll see what happens with that. On October the 28th, as of this video, October the 28th. So, we got... November, all November, all December, January, February. So we got about four months from now to see how how I do, and um, it is what it is. I know that, and I know the trolls are gonna tempt me and this and that, but from here on out, the trolls can suck my fucking cock. And that's all I gotta say about that. Not literally, figuratively. Because I don't swing that way. And I know a lot of these trolls swing that way. But I digress. Alright, enough about that. Boo, Funky! Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. As the title below says, Oh yeah, guess what? We have another mu music video on the Metal God channel. Because I want to go in a little bit of a new direction. I want to make more music videos on this channel. Um, because that's what it is. I mean, it's just not about death-related videos, but I will be putting up some death videos, uh, if th there's a major actor, actress, or somebody in the world of music or wrestling passes away between now and the end of the year and going into 2023. So, so the death videos are not going to be extinct, but most of this channel is going to be devoted now, uh, mostly to heavy metal news, CD unbagging, which I'm going to be doing, um, maybe tomorrow, so I might do another two for, or maybe a three for, who knows what happens with that, but I'm going to do the In This Moment unbagging that I promised a little bit late, I was going to do, I meant to do it yesterday, but I ran out of time on my phone, and, um, I had to do some other things, because Dynamite was coming on and shit, so I didn't want to do it during Dynamite, or after Dynamite, because I was really tired, and I went to sleep after Dynamite. So, so we got that. All right. So, as the title below says on this late Thursday night, and you know what that means, or if you're watching on the watching from some watching from somewhere else, or you're watching this, well, I would say on the replay, or there is no live replay right now. But if you're watching this tomorrow or whenever you do watch this, it is October the twenty eighth, two thousand twenty two. We are three days away from. Halloween, we got, uh, it's Halloween weekend, uh, got a lot of, gonna have a lot of Halloween themed parties this weekend, I'm not going to any, I got other things to do, uh, I gotta help my, my mom out because, you know, she's, uh, not feeling well, she's doing a little bit better, thankfully, um, so, she asked me if I can help out this weekend, so I'm gonna do that, so, and, uh, Rose is going to be doing some other stuff, uh, but she's not, like, going anyway, but she's going to be with, 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 with a couple friends. I'm going to do my thing, and i got to help my mom, but she has her plans with the Goyles and everything, so, but it is what it is. So, that's my weekend. Uh, mine is tomorrow. i gotta, I got to work. i got to go to physical therapy after, and then I'm um, going to come home, probably do that video for the In This Moment video. And then I'm um, going to wait for SmackDown and a live Rampage. So it's going to be a big Friday night. And then later on Friday night, probably about midnight or so, your SmackDown Rampage review on the Killer Demons channel. So check it out. So hit, and hit, excuse me, hit that bell and get notified when that goes live. We'll have a great, hopefully have a great chat. And um, no trolls allowed. That's all I got to say about that. Positivity. From here on out. And that's it. Alright. As the title below says, more metal news in the world of heavy metal. Now, my last video about Ivan Moody uh, retiring from Five Finger Death Punch and all of the music industry um, after the next Five Finger Death Punch album. Uh, there's a quick update on that. Uh, Ivan came out on video and said that he is not retiring. So, uh, he is not retiring, so he is staying in Five Finger Death Punch, which is great, uh, because he said that if I leave the music industry, it's gonna really, you know, it's gonna be really bad on me, and I don't wanna, I mean, basically music brought him to the dance and brought him success in Five Finger, 
and everything and kind of brought him out of alcohol and anger issues and all that other good stuff. Well, not good stuff, but you know what I mean. And um, even though he made a promise to his kids to, to retire for good and be with them, uh, you know, he doesn't want to be at home and then, re you know, you know, he's looking at his kids and he's just, he's depressed, he's angry, he might go back on the bottle or drugs or whatever. And, you know, his kids going to see that and they're going to like, you know, maybe we should have let him stay on and do what he loves, which is write great songs and be be a great, great lead singer for five, one, probably one of the great, not a great, not the greatest metal band, but one of the prominent heavy metal bands in heavy metal right now, Five Finger Death Punch. So Ivan Moody is not retiring. So Ivan, thank you for staying on. Thank you very much. Do what you love, brother, and that is melt faces and make make all those fa all your fans' ears bleed. And um, that's all I gotta say. So welcome back to the party, pal. I guess. But it is what it is. So once again, Ivan Moody not retiring from Five Finger Death Punch. So he's going to do the next album and then probably the next tour. And then going to keep going. And uh, that's all I got to say about that. So that's good. Um, other than that, um, other bit of news. Uh, I didn't mention this. I'm going to mention this, a, uh, mention this a couple of videos ago. I'm going to mention it again. Big news from the mighty in this moment. Now, I mentioned before that In This Moment is now off tour. They're going to take the rest of the year off um, to recuperate from their Big Blood 1983 tour, which was very successful for them. Uh, but in an interview with Tony Gonzalez on Loudwire, uh, Maria Brink and Chris Howarth, my metal brother and sister, uh, they... They told Tony Gonzalez that the next In This Moment record, which is coming out next year, it's not going to be a studio record, which sucks. But, and there's always a but, and it, this, in this this case, it does not stink. But, uh, Chris Howard said that the next In This Moment record will be a live album, uh, I guess, of one of the shows on this tour, or maybe some... Before that, I don't know, but the next I, uh, In This Moment record, which is In This Moment's eighth album, not counting the EP or the uh, the, the Ultraviolet edition of The Dream or even the Deluxe edition of A Star Coast Wasteland or uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Deluxe version of Blood with Live at the Orpheum, which is their first actual live album. Technically, the first live album, DVD. But, it is, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, and don't, and, and the, uh, the Greatest Hits Volume 1, that's not really, uh, an album. It's an album, but it's not a studio album that would pertain to that. But if you want to go there, then they have, like, 13 albums, basically. But, eight, uh, about, the, no, seven studio albums. Uh, but their next album is going to be a live album with... Same the same stuff that you hear on that live show, and also a DVD. So it's kind of like Blood at the Orpheum two, but with a different name, obviously. Um, and I don't know the name of the new the new live album. It's going to be called ITM uh, in this moment live, Blood nineteen eighty three live or something like that. I would I don't know. Um, I might have to ask Chris and Maria that um, on Instagram. Like, what's the are you going to have a name? Or is this just going to be Blood 1983 Live? Something like that. I guess they're going to surprise us. But we'll see. But yeah, that's going to be awesome coming out next year. Uh, you know, Maria's all happy about it. She's like, oh, it's, like it's great that we, we captured all these magical moments. And, you know, she's talking about, you know, you know being uh, the... Uh, the in between was nominated for a Grammy, did not win, which sucks. But they were there, so Grammy nominated in this moment. For those of you who think that in this moment sucks, but they don't. Grammy nominated in this moment, and you know Maria's goal for her, for her and the band is to win a Grammy, and hopefully it happens, and they get that at number one album. Not on the, the heavy metal rock chart. I'm talking about Billboard 100 or Billboard 200. 
They came really close, and that was that was Blood. Went to number eight. It debuted at number eight on the Billboard charts. The closest they got to basically the top ten. But Blood is certified platinum right now. Or gold, I should say. Not platinum yet, but it should be platinum. But it's going to get there eventually. But hopefully Blood 1983 sells a lot of rec uh, CDs. I mean, I already got it right. Um, I got you. got it right here. So hopefully it sells a lot of, lot of copies. It's a, it's a reimagining of uh, four of the biggest uh, songs on on Blood, the original Blood. Uh, it's got Adrenalize, Burn, Blood, and Horror. And Horror and Adrenalize are now on their YouTube channel. Uh, so you can check them out. And you can also stream it on Spotify and on Apple Music or anywhere else. You can buy this on Amazon and the official In This Moment merchandise store or anywhere you buy your CDs from. It's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. And that's all I got to say about that. So, next year, I don't know when, maybe, this, I would say by the summer of 2020, maybe the fall, depending on when this album actually gets mixed and done. And what's going to, I mean, if they're going to, like, have a release party or something like that. And, I'm, and I assume they're going to tour with this. But then, I get, then again, they can just put out the live album while they're re recording their actual ninth album. Or 8A or whatever it's going to be. But I think new music is going to come out. I mean, this is kind of new music. But it's just a reimagining of the songs in a 1983 version. So, so that's what you got. So you got some new music for now. But like I said, live album coming out next year. And a DVD with that. And who knows that they might put out another album after that. Usually, In This Moment comes out with another album every two or so, two, maybe close to three years, uh, if you, you know, but we'll see what happens with that, I'm happy, I'm happy that we're gonna get a live record, a live DVD, I think it should be a, I mean, like, but Blood at the, like the, uh, uh the, uh, the Ultra Edition, the Deluxe Edition of Blood was, it came with the Blood CD, and it came with Blood at the Orpheum, which is the D, which is the DVD, so, they could do is like, like a CD-DVD combo, instead of doing it separately, they should do it CD-DVD combo, but that's just me. And, uh, it, I, I know it'd be on pre-sale when it actually starts, uh, is, is done, we have a release date, they're gonna probably put it up on, um, their merchandise store, you can get it, and I'm gonna get it probably as soon as I, I get the email saying, hey, Blood Knight... The, the In This Moment live album is coming out. I'm like, boop, go on, go on in the In This Moment store, buy it, have it shipped uh, when it, when the official uh, official um, release date. Because uh, this came out on last uh, last Friday. I got this on Monday. So, when it was, it was shipped on Friday, I got it Monday. So, so took about took about two, well, really, two business days. Because, you know, I got to count Saturday, don't count Sunday, and Monday... I just came like Monday morning. Monday morning, I picked it up with the shirt, and that's that. Then I got uh, this little thing as well, and this stuff too. But I'll show that off tomorrow. So we got that. All right. So anyway, besides the Ivan Moody news and the in this moment news, we got huge, huge news uh, regarding John Five. Now we all know who John Five is. He used to. Be the guitarist for that man, be, the man called Marilyn Manson, or Mr. Manson to you. Also, is the guitarist, or was the guitarist for Rob Zombie for the albums that he did and the, his, you know, his live shows and everything. Now he's kind of gone from Rob Zombie's uh, band. I don't know who's going to replace him, but we'll see what happens with that. But in any event, today we heard that Mick Mars of Motley Crue is retiring from Motley Crue. Uh, he's gonna be do he's done with the tour, which is gonna be getting back up again in Latin America and Europe. And I believe this uh, when is that song? I think it's starting next uh, this year or early next year with um, Def Leppard and Motley Crue because they're kind of extending the stadium tour, but just with those two bands. 
So, but Mick Mars is not going to be on the tour. He's not going to be playing guitar, but it will, will be still in the band doing what? I don't know. Uh, but due to his, uh, you know, his, his AS, his degenerative spine disease, uh, he cannot fulfill the tour anymore. And in his place will be John 5. And I think that's pretty damn good. I think it's great. No, no disrespect to Mick Mars. He's a great guitarist. Great guitarist. But if I had to pick anybody to replace Mick Mars, I would pick John 5. John 5 is an amazing guitarist. Solo a a as a solo act in Rob Zombie and especially in Manson. Great guitarist. And I've seen some of the videos of him playing the, the, uh, the songs from Motley Crue. And it is so good. I can't wait to see some of the videos of the, the, the new, not even, well, I guess you can say new Motley Crue, just with John Five on guitar, and, you know, you, you have Tommy Lee, Vince Neil, and Nikki Six still there. I think it's going to be an amazing experience for, the, for the, the fans to see, even new fans to see. I think, I think, you know, John Five is going to rip through, like, Girls, 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 and The Wild Side, and a whole bunch of other songs that they have. It's just going to be amazing shit. Amazing shit. Um, and I'm going to put the link to the article from Loudwire there, because um, I don't have much time to talk about it. But, uh, but I'll read a little bit of the article from Loudwire. Rob Z a long-time Rob Zombie guitarist John Five has been confirmed to be Motley Crue's new guitarist now that Mick Mars has stepped down and retired. Uh, I don't know why the... God damn ads. I hate reading stuff and then it goes right to the ad. I didn't even touch anything. I was just like looking down and it just went there. There you go. Thank you. Uh, anyway, as a result... Uh, of one of the most significant lineup changes in rock and roll metal history, uh, even even when uh, uh, Zach Waller joined Ozzy, Ozzy's band after you know uh, Jiggy Lee, blah 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 blah, uh, fans had a lot of varying reactions to that. Uh, but yeah, it, John Fire is a seasoned virtuoso, and he can just take take he can probably take looks that kill and make it even greater. The way he, he plays and, you know, it's just amazing. So we got that. So this is the first time that, that Mick Mars has not been with the band. Uh, so some fans have some mi mixed reactions. Um, so there are some samples. Um, Uh, actually, just, uh, uh, there's a sampling of the social media reactions to John 5's edition below uh, on Loudwire on the link I'll, I'll put in below. Um, yeah, so some people like it, some people don't. I mean, that's your own opinion. Uh, some of the some of the diehard Motley the crew heads, Motley crew heads, don't really like this decision, but some don't. All right, I'm gonna read maybe a couple of them because I got a little bit of time. Okay, uh, Jeff uh, X Shattered JD, not that JD, but even though he should be, his face should be shattered, but I digress. Uh, he says, although I'm happy for Mick f to retire from touring, I'm confused as to the choice of John Five to step in. All the best to everyone. Okay, so he kind of has mixed reactions. All right, uh, at Supersonic Rock One says, Mick Mars, uh, Mick Mars is a brain and sound of Motley Crue, and John Five or Five or uh, Fifty Five or Five Five Five, and up Six Six Six, or whoever, or whoever it is. Um, now it went to a. Uh, um, okay, here it is. I, uh, I went. Uh, or whoever will not replace him. The rest of the crew will continue for money only till one day they drop, they drop, means die, and they stop only, not before. So, basically, you know, this guy is saying that that John Five is just in it for the money and they're just gonna, they're just doing this th this leg of the, uh, the stadium tour with Def Leppard just for the money. I don't think they're just doing it for the money, dude. 
they're doing it for the fans because the fans want to see Motley Crue. Okay, uh, Junk Punk uh, at triple six six six. What triple six? The number six six. Uh, he says, and you got at John Five guitars to fill in. Yes, John Five is my fave. Such a good choice. Okay. Also, um, do I have time for this? Let me just see. Yeah, I think I got a little bit of time. Uh, John Five actually put out a statement. Actually, Motley Crue uh, released a statement on the retirement of Mick Mars. Uh, and I quote, While change is never easy, we accept Mick's decision to retire from the band to the challenges with his health, you know, his AS spinal uh, degenerative disease, which sucks for him. He's had it since he was a teenager. But he pulled, he went through it, and then it kind of got worse and worse to the point where he couldn't even play the guitar and the doctor told him just to hold the guitar for a while and he started getting better and he, he was he said himself he's like he's like i'm a better player now it's like i'm just start, I'm, I'm playing i'm better than ever so so there you go uh so we want we have watched mick manage his anchor i'm gonna ankle losing spondylitis or as for decades and he's always managed it with utmost courage and grace i, I mean it is a very painful disease of the spine it, it, he can barely like stand up he feels like he's like he has a hunch maybe i'm i got that i don't know hopefully not but but anyway to say enough is enough is the ultimate act of courage Mick sound helped define Motley Crue for, from the minute he plugged in his, in his guitar at our very first rehearsal together that, that was shown in The Dirt on the Netflix version of The Dirt uh, and in the autobiography. Uh, the rest, as I say, is history. We'll continue to honor his musical legacy. We will carry out Mick's wish and continue to tour the world as planned in 2023. Like I said, uh, Latin America and Europe with Def Leppard. No doubt we would take an absolutely outstanding musician to fill Mick's shoes. So we, are, so we are grateful that our good friend John Five has agreed to come on board and join us moving forward. We'll all see you crew heads out on the road. Signed, Vince, Tommy, and Nikki. Uh, and John Five says, and I quote, I'm honored to carry on Mick's legacy and I'm looking forward to playing these songs. And he's going to just, I mean, he's going to make them sound great. Not as great as Mick did originally, but I think these new versions with with the virtuoso himself, John Five, I think it's going to be amazingly good. I can't wait for that. It's going to be fucking epic. Epic! And uh, that's pretty much it for that. So that's really all I wanted to talk about there. Um, and I mentioned Ivan Moody not retiring from Five Finger Death Punch. So, got that. So, that's great. This is a lot of good news uh, in this little little shindig. And, and um, so, we got Ivan Mooney not retiring from Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, got John Five joining up with Motley Crue for the next leg of the tour in 2023. And also in 2023, the new live In This Moment CD, uh, live CD and DVD. Don't know an official release date yet, but, you know. But if you follow In This Moment on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and the band members, they'll uh, they'll all let you know. And when, when they know, I'll know. And that's pretty much it. So let me know your thoughts about everything I talked about in this video. And um, that's pretty much it. So that's it, everybody. Thank you all for watching this video. Check out my earlier video on my Shadow Slayer channel, TSL number 39, uh, where I basically gave a final statement about what's going on with me that's drama related. I mean, some of you metalheads don't even give two shits, so you don't have to really watch that, but you could if you want. But but it's stuff that, I, you know, that, that happened a couple of days, uh, four, four, almost five days ago now, and I don't, you know, it's a, it's a bad, it was a bad time this past weekend going into this week, so the weekend's over, Thankfully, so I can clear my head and everything and continue on my journey to get better my better mentally and physically and hopefully show these people that I threw under the bus, my former friends that, you know, that I'm getting the help I need. I'm cl getting, um, I'm clearing my mind. I'm getting mentally stable with the new medication I'm on and the help I'm getting and the anger management and all that shit. And hopefully by the spring of 2023, um, 
I'll have a lot of progress, and I'll give it, um, um, hope I might do another video as a, like, a response to them, and I don't know if they're gonna watch it, hopefully somebody sends it to them, and says, hey, look at Peter Gilmore now, you know, he's, he's looking great, he's doing good, you know, but hopefully all this stuff can be put on, the, I know it's not gonna be put on the bridge right now, but in the future, hopefully it'll be water under the bridge, and we can come back and just be, be good people to each other, watch our, watch our content, and um, we don't have to be friends when we come back. If you want to, you know, it's like, oh, you forgive me and this and that. It's six, ten, six to 12 months later, maybe a year or two later, you know. You know, time heals heals all wounds. And I hope this big wound that I, I opened up for everybody heals in about a, about six to 12 months from now. We'll see. And um, we'll see. But we don't have to. If you want to forgive me, that's great. That's fine. Uh, if we don't have to be friends, that's fine. I'll just do my content. You guys do your content. Uh, and um, we don't even have to be on each other's chats or anything like that. We can always leave comments. But as far as an affiliation, I think we should wait another at least till the end of 2023 going into 2024. But that's just up to me. It, it, it might, not be, might be later on for you. But I have to get back these people's trust. And it's not going to be easy. And um, I would hope by the end of 2023, we'll get somewhere. We'll get some progress. But we'll see what happens to that. All right. I got to go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peter Gomez signing off. Have a great weekend, everybody. And as we say, as, as I always say to end my videos, I'm Peter Gomez signing off. Rock on and rock hard with your cookout. And if you're not down with that, well, that's just too goddamn bad. Because I got three words for you. Fuck you, man. Peter Gomez signing off. Until next time. Walk on.